All right, putting in the finishing touches and all done. Hey, Sparkle Squad, check it out. Looks super cozy, right? I just pitched this tent for summer camping. Ooh, roasting marshmallows, sleeping bags, telling spooky stories by the fire. <laughs> this camping trip is gonna be awesome. Yay. Need any help over there? Uh, nope, nope, got it all under control. Let's see, if we put this in, this all looks the same. How do you do this? You sure you don't need any help, Jimmy? You know what? Who needs tents when you have bedrooms anyway? My bedroom has video games, a TV, a cozy bed, and most importantly, video games. If you need me, I'll be in my bedroom. Hello there, campers! <laughs> Better get back to your tent, Jimmy! You're gonna need it for today's activity because it's the last to leave your tent challenge. Better gather your most important things because you're gonna need them. Because the first to leave their tent has to cook lunch and wash the dishes for a whole week. <laughs> Wait a second, can the winner pick what's for lunch too? Because if so, I want ice cream for the whole week. I've always wanted to try that. Jimmy, would you fix your tent? How many times have I taught you to pitch a tent? Ellie, could you help him with that? Sure thing, coach. <laughs> Are you excited to go camping, Jimmy? Boys and girls, if you want to hang out with me and Jimmy all day in our tents, give me a big thumbs up. Let's do this. You gotta put it through the holes in the corners, guys. Welcome to the inside of my tent. Let me give you a tour. So, I figure since, you know, we're gonna be staying in our tents and we lose if we leave, that will make it more like home. Make it your own, you know? <laughs> so I got my yellow blanket and my pink blanket, my favorite bear, Mr. Sparkles, these cool space decorations that are from my room, my Ellie Sparkles doll and a pillow, my favorite pillow ever, and it even gets cooler outside because I even brought my artwork my easel and the thing that I'm working on right now. How are you doing over there in your tent, Jimmy? <laughs> going just fine, Ellie. You see, I figured if I'm gonna win this challenge, I better keep busy. That's why I brought my number one most important possession. My basketball hoop. Ah, can't wait to get out and set this baby up. It's a little heavier than I thought. And all done. This means that I have everything for the perfect camping trip. Basketball, check. Basketball hoop, check. Swish, and the crowd goes wild. Now I know what you might be thinking. Jimmy, you might be the coolest camper ever. And you're right, because if my calculations are correct, I have just enough room here to do one of my patented, world famous Jimmy's Thin Aroonies. Let's give it a try. Spin a Rooney! Huh. Well, that one was just practice anyway. I'm still getting used to this whole tent setup. All I need to do is hop into the pool, grab my ball, and then I'll be ready to do the perfect Spin a Rooney. Time for a swim! Uh oh. The problem is, the pool is outside the lines of these cones, and technically I'm not supposed to go past the boundaries. That's why we'll have to make sure that nobody catches me. Be super quiet. Shh. What you doing, Jimmy? I hope you're not planning to step outside these cones, because if you do, you'll lose! Who, me? Coach Rocco, this is Jimmy you're talking to, remember? I'd never dream of doing such a thing. <laughs> I'll just uh, be back in my tent. Jimmy's right. You should definitely have some activities to pass the time, especially when you're gonna be out here for a long time, like this, which is why I brought some of my favorite books. There's nothing like a good book. A good book and a soft bean bag chair. <sighs> this is a great idea for Jimmy too. Well, I wonder where he is. Hmm, is he asleep? Hey, Jimmy. I brought some of my favorite books. Do you want to borrow one? Books? No thanks, Ellie. I brought video games instead. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, if you want one, they're always here for you. <laughs> 
Wow, Jimmy actually came prepared and brought all his favorite things. Maybe he'll actually win this challenge after all. <laughs> Can't talk now, Ellie. Time for some gaming. To keep myself preoccupied, I brought my gaming headset and, check this out, my VR system. This is gonna be so cool. It's a little bit low on power, though. Hmm, good thing I brought my power cord. <laughs> you didn't actually think I'd forget this, did you? This is Jimmy you're talking about. Pretty smart guy. I just need to plug it into the outlet and... Where's the outlet? There's gotta be one in here somewhere. Uh-oh, maybe Ellie will know. Hey, Ellie, do you know where the outlets are in this tent? <laughs> Seriously? There's no plugs out here in the great outdoors, Jimmy. <laughs> L-O-L. <laughs> Still have that book for you, though. Oh, no. No outlets. No, no, no. This can't be happening. Oh, no basketball, no movies, no video games. This is the worst tent ever. We've been out here for a super long time already. I'm getting super hungry all of a sudden. Hmm. That's one of the most important things you should bring on a camping trip. Food and water. It's a good thing I brought my favorite food, PB&J. And a banana for extra energy, and of course, some water to stay hydrated. Hey, Jimmy, you wanna split this PB&J with me? No thanks, Ellie. I brought my own lunch, popcorn. All I need to do is put this baby in the microwave, and two minutes later, I'm ready to eat. Um, Jimmy, are you forgetting something? Oh no, you're right. I forgot the butter. <laughs> no, not the butter. I'm talking about the microwave, and there's also no electricity out here. Oh, popcorn balls. I can't believe this happened to me again. What am I gonna do for lunch now? Wait a minute, I've got an idea. Oh, Ellie, you wouldn't happen to have any rope in your tent, would you? Rope? Well, I mean, I have some yarn for my knitting project, but why do you need it? Oh, you'll find out soon enough once you taste my delicious popcorn. Okay, here it is. Perfect, this is gonna work awesome. Good luck, Jimmy. Looks like Ellie's reading. That means it's the perfect time to explain to you all the super awesome plan I just thought of. Now you'll see why they call me Jimmy the Camping Expert. So everyone knows that if I leave the boundary cones, that means I lose the challenge. Well, I found a way that I can leave while still being in the boundary. I tied one end of Ellie's rope to my wrist and the other end of it to the boundary cone. That means that I can walk all the way to the kitchen to heat up my popcorn and I'll still technically be within the boundaries. Wow, I really am the smartest camper ever. Don't you all agree? Nobody's in here. I made it all the way to the kitchen without anyone catching me. I gotta say, this is one of my smartest plans ever. Popcorn, meat, microwave. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ah, Coach Rocco! <laughs> Looks like you stepped out of the boundaries, Jimmy. You know what that means? No, 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 Coach, I can explain. You see, I tied one end of the rope to the wrist, and I tied the other end of the rope to a cone, which is still safely in the boundaries. You mean this cone? Oh no, wait, what? How did that happen? It was perfectly in there. Oh, Ellie, could you come down to the kitchen, please? Oh, I'm ruined. Coach Rocco, she's gonna make me do the dishes for a whole week, and I don't even know how to do dishes. I'm much better at making them dirty than I am at making them clean. Hey, Coach. Hey, Jimmy, what are you doing here? Ellie Sparkles, you are the winner of the tent challenge. <laughs> that means you get to pick lunch for a week, and you get to do the dishes. Ooh, what could we possibly make? Oh, I have so many ideas. Pizza, pasta. Oh, what is super messy and extra hard to clean up? How about, <laughs> how about we make Coach Rocco's famous sloppy joes? Ooh, that sounds good to me. I like to put ketchup in mine and mayo and mustard, and sometimes I put a little chocolate. Huh? <laughs> yes, that's living life on the edge. That's how I... Jimmy, come quick! Outside is the perfect weather! Whoa! Awesome! Let's play some basketball! <laughs> Sounds good to me! Uh, huh, this door's 
locked. That's strange. Let's try the other doors. Locked. <laughs> this one's locked too. <laughs> that one's locked too. What's going on here? Stand aside, stand aside. You know, they don't call me the strongest boy in class for nothing. Jimmy's got this. <laughs> Muscles getting a bit tired there, Jimmy. We tried every door in the house. What are we going to do? I lock them. <laughs> Surprise. We're going to do the Coach Rocco's Escape Room Challenge. So you have to find the keys hidden about the house before you can go outside and play and do that Jimmy spin a thing. Huh, well, yeah, I guess we could do that. Or I could just break down the door with my super big muscles and we could do the spin a right now. Oh, come on. Escape room challenge? You're on, Coach Rocco. While Jimmy's uh, doing that, are you ready to go find the keys and win the escape room challenge? Yay! Give me a big thumbs up. <laughs> Why is this so difficult? Start off, I figure that we should check out my room first. There's gotta be some clues around here somewhere. Let me give you a tour. So this is my bed. It's my favorite colors, of course, pink and yellow. And I have my Ellie Sparkles doll there, and my teddy bear, my solar system hanging up from the ceiling, and all my memories along the wall. I also painted this the other day with Coach Rocco. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> I'm really proud of it. I can't wait to start another art project. Hmm, no clues so far. Well, here are my clothes. I have my hat, my raincoat, my overalls, and my sweaters, and what's this? A note? Let's see what it says. Find all the instruments, it won't take long, and then we will all get to play a song. That's right, Ellie. I hid three instruments around your room, and you have to find all three before you can move on to the next clue. After you play a tune, of course. <laughs> and go! Got two instruments, the ukulele and the harmonica. I just can't seem to find the third one anywhere. I'm running out of time. Better hurry up, Ellie. You only got 10 seconds. 10? No. Nine. I looked under the bed. Did I look at all my eight, three dates? Seven, six. <gasps> hey, Ellie. Any luck getting us out of here yet? Um, I just have to find one more instrument and then I'm gonna. Hey, Jimmy, are those my cooking chopsticks? Yeah, I was just about to start eating some macaroni. Well, uh, do you think I could borrow them for a second? Hmm, more macaroni. But do you want to go outside or not, Jimmy? Oh, fine. Hey, Coach Rocco, I found all the instruments. A harmonica for you, a ukulele for me, and cooking chopsticks, I mean drumsticks for Jimmy. All right, we play a tune and then we move on. All right. Hit it. One, two, three, go. drums for me. Well done! You passed this challenge! Yeah. Now on to the next one! Come on! Yes, yes, yes. With that much closer to going outside, Jimmy, let's go! This must be related to the next clue. That reminds me, I have to find the note. Let's start here. Nope, no note. Dishwasher? Mm -hmm. 
Come on, where is it? Just wait. Awesome, I found it. You found a clue and you're just in time. You've only just begun to make some awesome slime. That's right, Ellie Sparkles. You've made some awesome slime in your day, but this time you're going to have to make the grossest slime ever! The ickiest slime ever? I think I got this. Coach Rocco wants us to make the stickiest slime ever? Then he's got it. And what do we need for slime? Glue, of course. And I've got all the colors here. I love the color of that one. Ooh, look at that one. And to make this a slime, we have to have our slime activator. I think it could be grosser, so I'm going to be adding some shaving cream. It's gonna be fluffy, sticky, gross, and blue. Running out of time, Ellie Sparkles. Nope, not sticky enough. Keep going. What? I only know how to make awesome slimes, not super duper sticky ones. What else can I do to make this even stickier than it already is? Hmm, I sure do wish that I could have some help here. I've been cooking up this slime all day, but it's still not sticky enough. What do I do to make it stickier? Hey Ellie, want to see how many marshmallows I can fit in my mouth? Jimmy, can I have some of those marshmallows? Oh, I was going to set a new world record. You do want to go outside and play basketball, don't you? Oh, I guess so. Fine. Farewell, fluffy, sticky, sweet, yummy marshmallows. Thank you, Jimmy. I promise it'll be worth it. Let's break up some of these marshmallows in here. As you know, marshmallows are sweet, they're fluffy, and they're also sticky. Oh, mix it all together. That'd be nasty. Yeah. Time's up! Ready to test this out? Is it the stickiest, ickiest, grossest slime ever? I think so, Coach Rocco. Let me just give it one last mix in. There you go. Ooh, that's sticky and icky. Ellie Sparkles, you have won this challenge. You both solved the clues and won the reward. Reward? Hey, tell me more about this reward. Uh, well, as soon as I find it. Uh, it was a key! It was a key! Where's that key? A key? You mean this key? Jimmy, did you have that key in your pocket the whole time? Yup, here's the key. My chore earlier was to lock all the doors in the house and... Oh, I, I, I see what you better get outside quick, Jimmy, before I slime you! Oh, can I put this glitter on me? What's up, Sparkle Squad? Jimmy, Coach Rocco, and I have been in a real baking mood lately since we've been watching Strawberry Shortcake on YouTube. And this is my best creation yet, my Strawberry Shortcake! I've got the cake, the frosting, and the strawberries. I just need to get a couple more strawberries from the garden and then I'll be all done. See you soon. Go Traco. You smelling what I'm smelling? Yeah, Ellie must be baking again. Oh boy, let's go check it out. There it is. It's beautiful. It sure is. Ellie, are you here? Ellie? Huh? Well, I think if she was here, she'd probably be saying something like, Hi, Coach Rocco and Jimmy. I just made a strawberry shortcake, and I want you to eat the whole thing. You got this. Uh, well, that does sound like her, so maybe she wouldn't mind if I just have a little taste off the corner here. Yeah, I'm just going to do a little taste test myself. Mmm, yeah. that's really good. <laughs> well, you can never be sure with just one taste. Yeah, yeah, so I'm going to have another, little, another nibble. Yeah, just another one. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Oh, 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 oh. I love it. <laughs> hey, you know what this reminds me of? Mm. That strawberry shortcake song. You know the one that's like, 
Get strawberry for a cup. Get ready for she's back again. She won't go for a cup. The fun adventures never end. Get strawberry for a Guys, what are you doing? My strawberry shortcake is completely gone. Well, not completely. Save you a strawberry. Oh, come on. Oh, we're sorry, Ellie. It's just that we've been watching Strawberry Shortcake and we got a little carried away and it smelled so delicious. But don't worry, we'll make you another one. How about Blueberry Muffin? She's my favorite character on the show. Eh, I'm more of an Orange Blossom fan myself. I think we should make an orange cake. Oh no, blueberry's the best one. It tastes like well, No so way, cheap. orange is the best color, like no, my shirt. I love you know what's gonna be? Hey guys, hey. I have a great idea. Why don't we have a bake off, just like they do in strawberry shortcake. We'll all each pick a cake that we wanna make and then we'll have a taste test to see who has the best one. Uh, Jimmy baking all by himself? I gotta see this, I'm in. <laughs> hey, my cake is going to be nutritious and delicious. More like delusional. <laughs> Oh, no way, more you like You heard it here yummy. first, guys. We're gonna have a strawberry shortcake bake off. It's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Give me a big thumbs up if you wanna see our cakes. Hey, all you out there. This is my hit new show, Baking with Jimmy. I'm gonna be a celebrity chef. Watch me bake a cake. Now, since it's important to take risks with cooking, I've decided to put a twist on the old baking spin. We're going to do some baking on the barbecue. You can make hot dogs and hamburgers on the barbecue, so why not a cake? Oh, thanks, basketball. I always keep my trusty ball handy when I'm cooking. Very useful. The first thing that I'm gonna do is pour this batter into the pan. Perfect. And since it's an orange blossom cake, you're gonna wanna add an orange. Mmm, smells delicious already. Now, just go ahead and take this pan, put it underneath the lid, and I'm all done. Now on to more important things, such as showing you all the newest spin -a rooney Basketball is a big part of my cooking show. You'll get used to it. All right, time for the strawberry shortcake spin -a rooney And the crowd goes wild. Celebrity Chef Jimmy, Celebrity Chef Jimmy. What's that? I think next up on Baking with Jimmy, we're gonna see the hottest new cooking tool around, Jimmy's biggest cannonball ever. It's very useful for cooking. Cannonball! The crowd goes wild. I think this might be the most exciting cooking show in history. I'm gonna be famous. Ladies and gentlemen, next up on Cooking with Jimmy, we have a very special guest star, Ellie Sparkles! <laughs> hey, Ellie. Hi, how's your orange blossom coming along? Oh, it's coming along just fine. Popped it on the barbecue, so it should be done any minute now, while I get some more swimming done. The barbecue? Jimmy, you mean the barbecue with the smoke coming out of it? Oh no, my orange blossom! Oh no, my orange blossom, it's been burnt. Um, it's a tad bit well done, Jimmy, but uh, baking is always a learning process. I don't understand how this could have happened. I must have miscalculated the recipe. I guess next time I only have time to do one spin rooney and no cannonball. Ugh, cooking's hard. I agree. Speaking of which, I'm gonna go see if Coach Rafo is done with his blueberry muffin. Farewell, sweet orange blossom. I'm sad to announce that cooking with Jimmy has been canceled. With fresh berries as my secret ingredient, I'm sure to win the strawberry shortcake bake-off. Ooh, what are these berries? I've never seen these before. Wow, oh, would you look at that? Made fresh daily by Mother Earth herself. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Oh, they look delicious. <laughs> I'm sure to win this. Oh, there's some more over there. Ah. One. Stinky! <laughs> what are you doing out here? 
Stinky, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop eating those berries now. I need them for the strawberry shortcake bake-off. <laughs> you could just give me that one now. Stinky? <laughs> Stinky, now I need that berry. Give that to me, give it. Let go of it. Ah, Stinky, not again. Coach, what are you doing out here? Oh, <laughs> hello, Ellie, I was just Picking berries out in the forest. I mean, why go to the grocery store and waste money when you can get them for free out in nature? <laughs> Wait, Coach, those don't look like berries to me. Oh, and what is that smell? Oh, uh, yeah, that, <laughs> that smell. Well, unfortunately, I ran into Stinky over there. Wait, Coach, where did you say you got these berries again? Just right over there at the edge of the forest. Coach, that's the place where Jimmy used to plant those super hot chili peppers. I don't think those are berries at all. Nonsense, Ellie. These are sweet, delicious berries. Look, I'll prove it. Oh, Coach, I wouldn't do that if I were you. See, very sweet. And hot and spicy. Kitchen, go to the kitchen, coach! Oh, wow, he can really run fast when he wants to. It's time for the results of the Strawberry Shortcake Bake Off. Come on in, you guys. I can't wait to taste their creations. Are you guys ready? I don't, I don't know, know Ellie. Ellie. Wait, what happened? You guys were so confident earlier. This happened. Jimmy, is that your orange blossom cake? Yeah, no matter how many times I changed the recipe, I couldn't stop myself from burning it. I guess that old saying is true. Baking and spinneroonies just don't mix. And probably baking it in the barbecue didn't really work out either. But I'm really glad that you made it a fun activity for yourself. That's the most important part. And Coach Rocco, how are your blueberry muffins? Well, since all I could find was hot peppers outside, I decided to make Coach Rocco's famous chili. <laughs> it's not blueberry muffins, but we can have it for lunch all week. Hey, that's a great idea. We're going to be so full of sweets today that we're going to need something not so sweet later. <laughs> Well, Ellie, I think it's safe to say that you won this bake-off. Yep, you won hands down, Ellie. Thanks, you guys. And speaking of which, are you guys ready to try my strawberry shortcake? <gasps> hey, but wait a second. I get to taste the first piece first. Hey, why are all these things running? Anyone in here? are running. We learned in school that one sink uses up one gallon of water per minute. That's a lot of water wasted. Hey, is my water blaster full yet? Jimmy, were you running all these sinks so that you could fill your water blaster? No, no, I was also filling up my water balloons. Perfect. And I was washing my soccer ball. See? Good as new. Thanks, water. And besides, what are you worried about anyway? Haven't you ever looked at a map? Look at how big our oceans are. We got the Atlantic, the Pacific, the Santa Maria. Some of them are even bigger than entire countries. Well, sure, the oceans are huge, but not much of that water is actually drinkable. Only 1%. You know, people need to drink fresh water, not salt water, and that's what most of the water on the Earth is. Huh, I guess I didn't know that. I just knew that every time I turned the sink on, I could have as much water as I wanted, but if there's really only 1%, then I guess I gotta be more careful about how much water I use. How do you know all this science stuff anyway? In science class? The one you sit next to me in? In the science class where we have our Save the Environment homework assignment due tomorrow? Wait a minute. 
We have homework due tomorrow? Yep, tomorrow. Uh-oh, gotta go. Oh, I completely forgot about my science homework. How am I gonna think of an idea that helps save the environment? Ooh, I've got an idea. I could do spin roonies for charity. People could pledge money, and for every donator, I would do a famous Jimmy spin rooney Yeah, we'll call it Save the Earth a rooney with a little spin a rooney so that the Earth can keep spinning. A rooney. I'll think of the name later. Yeah, that might work. Actually, now that I think about it, I pretty much did the same thing for my English project last year, and I got a D minus on it. Back to the drawing board, I guess. Hmm, maybe if I did something with my scooter or my bicycle. Bicycle, recyclables. Yeah, that's it. I'll come up with a new system that will revolutionize recycling. It could even save the earth. Oh boy, I'm gonna get an A plus on this for sure. And even better, I'll be rich. Perfect. Hey, Jimmy, what you doing? Coach Rocco, just the person I wanted to see. I've been working on my science homework. Ellie and I have been learning about recycling all week in school, and I developed a foolproof new system that's gonna save the environment, maybe the whole world. I'm so proud of you and Ellie taking the initiative to save the environment. How does it work? Well, I'll tell you. Oh, hey, hey. Guys. Hey, Ellie, you're gonna wanna hear this too because soon it's gonna be everywhere. So I developed a three bag system. And before you ask, you can't just put all kinds of garbage into all kinds of bags. Every bag has a very specific use. For example, the blue bag here, you can only put blue garbage into it. So for example, this uh, blue marker. And in the red bag, you can only put red garbage, like this red party hat. And in the green bag, yep, you guessed it, only green garbage, like this line here. Any questions? Um, Jimmy, I don't think this is how we learned about recycling in class. Yeah, e Ellie's right. What if the garbage isn't one of these colors and it's purple like this balloon? I thought you might ask that. Well, stick around, fellas, because my plan has a solution for that problem, too. If the color isn't one of these main three colors, you just have to do a little mix and matching. Like in the case of purple, blue and red combined make purple. So you just have to put half the balloon in one of the bins and half of the balloon in the other bins, like this. <laughs> See, half in there and half in there. Any more questions, doubters? Wow, it makes perfect sense. Ellie, you ready to recycle? Um, not exactly. You see, you don't have to match the colors of the recycling bins with the color of the garbage. You have to match the recycling bins to the type of garbage it is. So, the blue bin is for plastic. The red bin is for cans and glass. And then the green bin is for paper. So, you would actually put everything else that doesn't match up with those categories in your regular kitchen garbage bin. Oh. That makes sense. Because come to think about it, I wasn't really sure what to do with this cookie here. Hey, wait a minute. This is a perfectly good cookie. Why would I be throwing it out anyway? Well, did you find that one under your bed, Jimmy? It's only been there since Tuesday. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. I got your favorite, sour cream and onion. Come here, kitty, kitty, here you go. Hey, Coach, what are you up to? Oh, I'm feeding the kitten that lives in our yard. The kitten? Look at how cute he is. Look at that white stripe down his back. Isn't he cute? Coach, be careful. That's a wild animal. And not just any wild animal, a skunk. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure this is a kitten. Oh, no, Coach, the best thing you can do for a wild animal is to leave it alone. It's not that we're being mean. It's that it might get sick on human food or we're taking it away from its home. Oh, I think you're mistaken. I'm pretty sure he's a kitten if he eats potato chips. Oh, gosh. Coach, just make sure you take a shower after, okay? What? Bye! Bye. <laughs> silly, silly Ellie. She doesn't understand. <laughs> what are you doing? Why aren't you eating your potato chips, huh? Huh? Ah! <laughs> Oh, stinky, naughty, stinky. Oh, yeah, no, she was right. She was right. Oh, yes, you are a skunk. Yes, you're a stinky skunk. Okay, you can go back out there. Go. Go frolic with all the other skunks. I hope there's no other skunks. Oh. Ellie, you were right. You were right. Get the tomato sauce again. 
Hey, Coach Rocco, wanna come to the mailbox with us? We're gonna go see if those energy efficient light bulbs you ordered already got here. Uh, you guys go ahead, I'll meet you there in my car. Hey, Coach Rocco, why don't you go take a scooter or a bike? I mean, it'll be good for your health and it'll also be good for the environment. Yeah, true, and the mailbox is just down the driveway. Uh, I don't know, I've never ridden a scooter before and I, I watch you two scooting around and it looks dangerous, I'll just walk. No, 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 you can take my scooter and my helmet. And Jimmy here can teach you how to ride it. It's super easy and trust me, it's a much better choice than taking the car. All right, Coach Rocco, Jimmy's scooter school is in session. Step number one to riding a scooter. First, you gotta plant one foot on top of the scooter. Then you gotta plant the other one on the ground. And when you're ready, give yourself a little boost and push. <laughs> You got this, Coach Rocco! Oh, oh look! <laughs> You're doing it, Coach! I'm scooting! <laughs> 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 Yeah, nice job, Coach Rocco. <laughs> See, Coach Rocco, just because you didn't choose your car, you've already taken one step towards a cleaner Earth. Our Terra Science Project is complete. We're getting really, really good at saving the environment. I'll say, yeehaw! How about a race? <laughs> Coach Rocco, don't go so fast. Yeah, and you're going the wrong way. Coach Rocco, watch out for that! Oh, yikes! That one hurt. Hey there, Sparkle Squad. We're just scooting back home from school, and everyone was super excited today because tomorrow's the Wait, last... wait, wait, did you tell him yet? Did you tell him? See how excited everyone is? Because tomorrow is the... Wait, wait, hold on, Ellie. Can I tell him, please? <laughs> sure, go ahead, Jimmy. All right, everyone, I'm about to say it. Tomorrow's the last day of school, the greatest day of the year. I'll see you at the pool. That's how I'm spending my summer. Ooh, I think I'm gonna head there right now. Wee! But Jimmy, we still have a couple of assignments before the end of... Oh, that Jimmy. Boys and girls, if you want to see how we spend the last day of school, give me a big thumbs up. Let's do this. So the last assignment our teacher gave us was to go through our old school back and clear it out. Now there's a lot in here from over the school year. Let's see what we got. Got plenty of books and textbooks from class. My trusty pencil case. Oh, what's this? Oh, cool, our harmonica. Oh, I'm definitely gonna keep this. This reminds me of the time that we all had to think of a song for the school talent show. Uh, no, no, that won't work. Hey, Jimmy, you look a little frustrated. What's up? I wanna write a song for the school talent show, but I can't think of anything to write about. It's really hard. Yeah, writing is definitely super hard. Well, here's some advice that Coach Rocco once gave me. Write about something you like, or about someone who inspires you. Huh, that's a good idea, Ellie. You mean like a very good friend? Mm-hmm. Someone who's always there to cheer me up? Yeah. Someone really smart and really cool? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a cool person to write a song about. This is gonna be a great song. Thanks, Ellie. I can't wait for you to hear it. No problem. Hey, how's your talent show ideas coming? They're going really well, I think. Oh, Coach Rocco, I think that Jimmy's writing a song about me. <laughs> That's so cool. It's so hard to get him to do anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be playing the ukulele. It's gonna be a really good time. Voila! My masterpiece is complete. This song is dedicated to someone very special to me. Ellie, give me an E. There's someone that I know from school. His name is Jimmy and he's cool. Well, he's the coolest boy in school. Jimmy is cool. And everybody knows he rules at basketball and Roblox too. If you don't like him, you're a fool. Cause he's cool. Everybody know Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is so very cool. He's the coolest boy in school. Jimmy is cool. He likes to wear the color orange. Oh, oh no. Oh 
nothing rhymes with orange. But regardless, he is cool. And Jelly, you're okay too. Aww. Everyone, Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is cool. <laughs> awesome. I think that might be the best song ever written. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Can you believe that Jimmy made a song all about himself? Wait, actually I can believe that. <laughs> what else do we have in here? Mm. Oh, cool. My paint brushes. Now I've used these guys for a lot of cool paintings over the years, but there is one from this past year that really stuck out. I wonder where our art teacher is. Class started five minutes ago and she's not here yet. Wait a minute, does that mean class is canceled? Can we go home? I'm here, I'm here, don't panic. Your regular art teacher called in sick today, so I'm gonna be taking over. I know I usually teach lunch and gym, but I think I'll be a pretty good substitute art teacher. Awesome, Coach Rocco, I didn't know you were an artist. So yeah. Coach Rocco, what are we gonna paint today? Maybe a seascape? Something from the Impressionist era? Will we be using acrylics or watercolors? Uh, an Impressionist what? <laughs> no, uh, I figured we could just get together and paint whatever makes us happy. That's a great idea, Coach Rocco. Paint what makes you happy. Okay. All right, and begin! All right, time's up. Now let's see your paintings. Ellie, what you got? All right, so I decided to go with some random shapes and some of my favorite colors that make me happy. Pink, yellow, and blue. And this is what I got. Hmm, that's called an abstract painting, Ellie. You know, the abstract style dates back to the early 1900s. Now me, I went for realism. As you can see, it's a self-portrait in the Da Vinci classic style, but with elements of, well, in terms of the common man, it's just me doing my Jimmy spin a rooney <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Coach Rocco? Let's see your painting. Oh, no, you don't want to see this. I only show my paintings to my mother, Mama Rocco, because I'm her favorite artist. <laughs> come on, Coach Rocco. We want to see it, too. Come on, yeah. Come no, on. no, you don't want to see this, no. Please. Of course we do. Class is almost over anyway. Oh, come on. We want to see it. We want to see what Mama Rocco's going to hang up in her house. All right, all right. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's a painting of Mama Rocco. Coach, that is amazing. Yeah, wow, Coach. I really love the realism style that you painted your mother with and the way it clashes with the more German expressionism style of the wilted flowers. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's what I was going for. <laughs> but the most important question, Coach Rocco, is does it make you happy? You know what? It does. It really does make me happy. And I bet it'll make Mama Rocco happy as well. And that makes me the happiest of all. <laughs> I can't wait to show her. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Rocco still has that painting hanging up. It just goes to show, you just gotta do what you love sometimes, you know? <laughs> now what else do I have in here? Nothing in there. Oh. <gasps> of course, my favorite, a PB&J. And that reminds me of the time that we had a school picnic. That was so much fun. Hey there, Coach Rocco. Hi, Ellie. Ooh, you baked a pie. Yep, I baked it specially for this picnic. It's apple. <laughs> Smells delicious and it's beautiful. <laughs> you know, I've been baking a lot lately. I've been baking cakes and But cookies. what's a picnic without a little basketball? Specifically, the Jimmy Spinneroony. <laughs> oh, Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh, no. You destroyed another pie. Oh, my pie. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't know it was there. What are we gonna do now? Well, don't panic. I brought all the ingredients to bake another pie. There's sugar, and flour, huh? eggs in here, bowl, and- Wait a second. How are we gonna bake a pie out here without an oven? Well, I'm not gonna bring an oven to a picnic, silly. <laughs> 
Ooh, so what kind of pie should we make? Ooh, how about chocolate cream? No, Those I've, are my favorites. I've already decided I'm making a meringue. But we can't make any pies if there's no oven out here. You know, she might have a point, Coach Rocco. I know, let's make a cake instead. Well, I didn't bring any candles, Jimmy. Oh, come on, we can't even make a cake out here too. You know we bake cakes. Listen, I got some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that I made for myself. Mm. And I can share them all with you. Sounds pretty good. Mm. Ooh, there's bugs out here. Ow. Wait a second. Jimmy, when you smash the pie, I think it attracted some ants! <laughs> <laughs>